We just want to quickly remember the birth of Jesus Christ. And we will also pray because with the Spirit of God now, the work that we need to do, we have to get up and do it, which should form part of the plan that you set for the year 2022. Glory be to God. So we'll take our first uh, Bible reading about the birth of Jesus Christ. I want to start, uh, Sister Comfort will read that for us. And that is Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 35. After she takes that reading, then Joy will read. And then we will just make a few points and we will pray again. So, okay, Sister Comfort, take the Bible reading. Our Bible reading is taken from Luke chapter 1 verse 26 to 35 and it says now in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David the virgin's name was Mary, and having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, as she was troubled at his sin, and considered what manner of greeting this was, then the angel, angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, how can this be since I do not know a man? 35. And the angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also, that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Joy, take the second reading, Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 20. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place while oh, Quirinius yeah. was governing Syria. So all went to be, be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Mm. Now, there were, now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them. Mm. And they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, do not be afraid for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. And this mm. will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. 
Now when they had seen him, they made widely known, they made widely known the saying which was told them connecting this child, concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. Thank you, Sister Comfort and uh, Sister Joy for the reading of the word. I just want us to spend the next five minutes just sharing a few things. So number one, let me just point us to, when you read Luke chapter two, the birth of Jesus, pay attention to the announcement of the angels and how it was carried through. So um, in verse 13, the Bible says, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, this is what they said, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. In verse 10, the angel that was alone at first, then the angel said to them, do not be afraid for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, great joy which will be to all people. So the birth of Jesus Christ brings great joy to all people. And he came that there might be peace on earth, goodwill toward men. And what is this goodwill? That God and man is reconciled. Oh, that's why I love that song. You know, whether you pick that line, God and sinners are reconciled. Goodwill, God's good, goodwill, God's everything. And if you go from there, you will see that every message then says that everybody then was pondering, carrying this same message. Look at verse 7 and 15. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. They received message straight from angels about Jesus. And they said, so that was the message. Look at the next verse. And all those who heard it marveled are those things which were told them by the shepherds. So this was the message. I want to just keep it that simple and draw our focus that Jesus came to give us great joy and to establish peace on earth and goodwill. And that's why God gave him the name Emmanuel. God with us. And the virgin was told, you will see that in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, that his, this son will be called Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. This is that God's goodwill. So Jesus has brought great joy to the whole world. That man, sinner, a sinner man, human beings who are sinners, we are sinners, be reconciled to God through his son, Jesus Christ. For his name means savior of the world, savior of all people. That's the short point I want to make to re help us refocus. And if you lack joy, great joy in this season, oh, just meditate on the fact that God has sent you joy through his son, Jesus Christ. And I pray for every one of us, may the Lord restore and give us great joy. May Jesus, the Prince of Peace, give us peace in our lives. And may his goodwill prevail in every aspect of our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'll pause and take one or two contributions because this is a wide subject. Um, so please, anybody you want to speak before we pray. I believe you have your 
programs for 2022 now developed or you have begun to develop. Otherwise, I'll pray, I'll pray for you that uh, <laughs> God opens your eyes as we have been praying. Okay, please feel free. Uh, one minute each. Okay. Sister Gertrude, I can see you look radiant and ready with that, your picture. One minute. For me, um, reading Luke 2, I think the verse that really stands out is verse 14. It says, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. So this good news was not hidden. That even the heavenly host, and they appeared with the angel praising God, knowing Jesus Christ to bring praise to my life, my lips, and everything. So this season is a time of joy and praise to God. And this flows into, as you had asked us to look to trust God for our 2022, I think my theme is to bring glory to God. At every area of my life, you bring glory to God. And it, it comes from this verse that even yes. the heavenly host praise God and glorify God. Yes. And my life will be praise and glory to God. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Prompt, kept to time. So, Sister Comfort. Thank you, my brother, for the wonderful week and uh, I, will, I, I have so much to say, but like you have said, I limit myself to what you, you have said and what uh, my sister has said. Having uh, joined in the prayer, and I now, like you said, I went into myself. What did I find? <laughs> we, God has done everything. Like that 14 said, the coming of Jesus was to bring us joy, to bring us peace, and for us to glorify God. Like that scripture I told you the other time, that was the scripture they said, I must say we should pray. Seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, all these other things will be added to you. So God wants us to be in peace, because given us Christ, like sister said, me, I say, God, I have tasted of your Holy Spirit. I have seen your power and what you have done before. Please sanctify me and let that Holy Spirit be fully, fully unlimited in me and all your children I want to save you. As In you Jesus' have... name. Amen. 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 Okay. Your time is up. Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a very good closing point. Thank you. Sister Gloria. Sister Gloria. Okay, man. All I can just say is that verse 14 of Luke 2. Yes. It says, glory to God in the highest. And on earth's peace, goodwill towards men. And that's because of Jesus. So all I can say is thank you, Lord, for Jesus. Amen. Yes, we must have joy. Sister Joy, our excellent reader. Sister Joy. Yeah, in the line of praising God, I guess, verse 20 says, then the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all that they had seen and heard. So, yeah. We should also continue to praise him in this season. Yes, indeed. Excellent. So we express this joy in praising God. Oh, that's wonderful. Brother Sonny. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, I want to thank God for what he has done, the gifts of Jesus Christ and died for the sins of the world. Would have done to send his only begotten son and die for my sin, the sin of my family members, and the sin of the rest of the world. So I have to thank God for what he has done. That is what I can say. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Sonny. I think we've all conversed. Key verses, verse 10, great joy, great joy. We must have great joy. Verse 14 brings together glory to God in the highest, on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Verse 20, 
we must continually express this great joy, this peace, this love of God, this goodwill of God, this salvation of God in praising God and thanking God. So you see why this season uh, is indeed a season of praise and thanksgiving, a season of joy. So let's continue to join in praising and thanking God for what he has done for us. Not like uh, most people who express this joy in uh, ways that create problems for themselves, accident and all that, but in safety and in um, gratitude to God. It's really to be grateful and thankful to God. So let us now go before him as, as we close this meeting to thank God for giving us his son, Jesus Christ, and then thank him uh, for keeping us to this day in December 2021, and let's again commit our lives and our plans and desires for year 2022 to him. Go ahead and pray, pray, go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for such great love that you have loved us for giving us your son, Jesus Christ. We're so grateful and so thankful. We thank you, almighty God, for the lesson of the birth of Jesus that again you have helped us to recall, to remember our savior, a savior that you have sent to us, a great joy you have given to us through Jesus Christ. Your goodwill, your peace you have sent to us. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for this. Heavenly Father, we thank you for keeping us to see this day. Father God, we ask that this will not be the end. Even as we have seen the power of waiting on God for three days. Esther did it, you turned situations around. Joshua did it and they crossed the Jordan by your power and your spirit and they had victory. God Almighty, we pray that you will continually fill us with your spirit in the name of Jesus. And now, Lord, we present our desires to you, Lord, that for the remaining days of year 2021, you will continue to give us greater victories. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, that in the year 2022 that is coming, Father, we will move by the power of your spirit. We will do exploit for you and in your name. The gifts of the Holy Spirit will greatly manifest in us. And Lord, we pray that that year shall indeed be our year of divine abundant life. The fullness of your spirit and of your power and of your glory in our lives will be made manifest. And Lord, we pray that we will shine for you as your vessels of honor. Thank you, our Lord and our King. Thank you for how you have led us today. For we have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.